Liverpool shot has been a, a conservative seat like, since it was set up. That is correct. Um, is this the year that uh, are you going to be the first conservative MP to uh, to lose all the shots? No, of course not. As you rightly say, it has always been conservative, and uh, I believe that it will remain conservative. Uh, this next Parliament is going to be difficult in the face of horrific challenges with a lot of new members of Parliament who do not have uh, the experience of government ever do, their experience of business. And I think it's important that people like me bring that to bear. And I think the fact is that people are on the doorstep and are beginning to understand that this is not a beauty contest uh, between the three members of politics. There is much more at stake in our country than that. And I think increasingly people are beginning to understand that if they do not wish Gordon Brown to remain in office, and that is the overwhelming view of people I speak on the doorstep, um, that the only way of ensuring that happens is to vote Conservative. It's happening all over the constituency. People are saying to me they are switching this time. They now know they can with a realistic chance of winning. They're aware the majority is only 5,000 uh, or 6,000 on the notional new boundaries. But either way, it's a small majority when you've got an electorate of 70 or 80,000 people. And it only takes three or 4,000 people to, to switch for it to happen. I'm finding every day we're getting people ringing us. More of them are emailing, actually, coming in through the website, offering help, wanting posters for their windows, more than we've ever had before. In fact, I said to someone the other day, we've had more offers of help in this election than the past, last four elections I've fought put together already. And it's, it's just phenomenal. So I think the genie's out of the bottle. I think people who've wanted to support us and haven't now know there's every reason why they can. And it's particularly at this election, they're very disillusioned with Labour, they're not convinced about the Tories. A lot of people are not convinced about Gerald Howarth, they think he's been here 13 years. They look at Aldershot still in desperate need of regeneration, very little progress made. They look at Farnborough under threat of dreadful overdevelopment. I don't know what Farnborough's going to be like in the generation's time if we don't change course. You've got Pysock at one end, Queensgate at the other. The airfield want to double their flights, and then they told us they want to double them again in 10 years' time. There are so many major challenges locally that need taking on that people don't feel Gerald Howarth is doing. You've got a hard job to do uh, to, to convince people that uh, you know to vote for uh, for Labour again. Do you think you can do it in Aldershot? I think I can. I I think you know we we, we start from very strong foundations. Um, I mean, if you look at the percentages from the last election, um, I think if sort of five to ten percent of each of the candidates' vote went to another candidate, then either you know Gerald, Adrian, or myself would be the next member of Parliament. Also, you know, Labour, we're, we're in a very strong, fair position. You know, we took a council seat from the Liberal Democrats in Harrowwood Ward, so we're only one seat behind them in Rushmore Council. So I think there's certainly all to play for, and I do definitely see this as a three-horse race. I think we're fighting a really interesting election, because I think people are generally undecided about how they're going to vote. And I think um, a lot of things, and I think because of the economic crisis, and also because of the expenses for Ori, I think those old party allegiances are really breaking down. So I think if they can listen to candidates that they feel speak for them, and their values, I think they'd be much more willing to cast their vote. Well, I'm standing because I'm concerned for the future of this country, that millions of our servicemen and people have died in two world wars, which most of our young people are totally ignorant of. I'm a brontosaurus in a, 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 you know, a dying age, in effect, but I think it's terribly important that young people understand what has happened over the last few years and to make them understand that if we go, uh, if we allow the European Union to extend its clutches, as Lord Pearson put it, at the moment we're in its tentacles, next year we'll be in its belly.